I've been doing this role, this Naruto role, for 14 years and 650 episodes. And that's a lot. 40 video games and six movies. Um, so I meet people all over the world, um, all over the United States, all over Canada, uh, Sweden, Australia, um, New Zealand, Scotland, uh, the UK, all over the UK, Ireland, and um, everywhere around the world it's the same, like the, the fans are the same. And I meet so many people that make drawings and bring them to me to show me or they'll give me stuff. I have a couple paintings people gave me. Uh, someone just gave me a knit hat because she's a knitter, uh, a professional knitter. So she gave me a knit. It looks kind of like a Naruto wig. Um, but it's really important to people's lives. And in addition to that, I had at least three people today say that I helped them through a really hard time. Um, actually more than that, but three that I'm remembering off the top of my head. And I went to do a Comic Con in Okinawa for the troops, the US troops. So there are 11 bases there, 55,000 soldiers, men and women. And so many of them came up to me and told me that that's what got them through is watching all this stuff. So you know that art really does have an influence and they thanked me for my part in the show. I don't draw it, I don't create it, I don't have those skills at all. But I know what I have and I can act. Um, and I can voice the character and other characters. So. It's, it's helped people. They've told me, some people have said it helped them not to commit suicide. Um, some people have said it helped them not be depressed. And then some moms have come up to me and told me it helps them with their kids who are autistic uh, or on the spectrum. And it helps them or calms them. Um, so, you know, you never know when you do stuff who it's going to help. I think art gets, it's very underrated because People t say like, oh, you're not a doctor, or, oh, you're not curing cancer or anything like that. But the number of people that we have coming up to us saying, you know, Sailor Moon helped me come out to my parents or, or you know, this show helped me through depression or when I was alone, these characters felt like they were my friends. And um, I feel like art can really heal in a way that is complementary to, or uh, supplementary or whatever, supplementary, complementary. <laughs> I feel like art can heal in a way that like aids the soul, um, the way a doctor would like heal your body. And I feel like art is also, it's a great means of expression for people who feel like they didn't have a voice in another way, you know, maybe people who didn't have like the greatest upbringing, you know, whose parents didn't let them speak, but they were able to doodle or they were able, they had a great singing voice, like they were able to express themselves even in an oppressive environment. And I think that's why art is so necessary. Like, you know, like there are people who, people who make art from the heart tend to be the ones who touch other people because when you watch that movie or you hear that song and it just breaks your heart or it, or it heals you or it makes you just feel like you're soaring, it's usually because that soul and your soul have made a connection. It's basically like if, if somebody records a song and there's after a breakup or something, you're devastated, and then you hear that song and you're like, somebody has gone through what I've gone through, I'm not alone. It literally can help heal you. And uh, I think that's the importance of art and like real authentic art. Do you, if you don't mind sharing, do you have any um, insecurities that may have uh, hindered your success or may have stopped you from Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, Growing up, I always told my parents, like, I'm going to perform for you, but don't look at me because uh, I didn't want to be seen, but I knew that I had this creative drive that I wanted to express. So that was a constant challenge, and it still kind of is because I do voiceover, which kind of lets me, like, perform without being seen. But, like, I want to start doing on-camera stuff, and I want to start putting my writing out there, and I'm terrified of success, which is the weirdest thing. But I realize it's because when you're successful, the world can see you, and when the world can see you, the world can judge you. And so that's something that I think will be a constant struggle for me, but once I get over that, it'll be so good for me, because you should never not make art because you're afraid. Because you're never going to be able to control everybody else, you're never going to be able to, to make everyone like you. So, especially in art, like if you're, making, if you're pissing people off, or, or you have people who have vocal opinions about your work, it means you're doing something right. So I would say that definitely the fear of being seen is probably something a lot of people have a hard time with because artists tend to be kind of shy and introverted. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that's probably my biggest insecurity. Off the top of my head, I have a thick skin. I sure, I sure had insecurities when I was younger, of course, 
And whenever you decide to become a professional actor, which I never trained for, I wasn't going to be one. I was headed in a different direction entirely. Um, you know, it's a hard road. So you just gotta work really hard at it. Trust yourself. You keep pushing, you get rejected. I tell the story, one time I counted the auditions I had per year, it's 360. Of those, I booked 11 jobs. That's a lot of rejection. But it comes with a territory and you just get a thick skin, you just keep going. And I'll tell you one more thing. When I moved to Los Angeles over 20 years ago, about 20, 21 years ago, I said to myself, I'm gonna do three things a day to help my career. Because I didn't make money at being an actor. I was, I was an actor, but not making money, even though I had agents and stuff. Not fully professional, I had day jobs. So every day for two and a half years or three years, I did three things a day to help my career. And it worked.